Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. As always, it's your girl, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today, I thought it would be fun to do a What's in My Book Bag video. I thought that would be so cute. I've been really inspired by, um, I guess, reading in my book bag in general and <laughs> so and that would be fun to do like um like a book check-in video and share with you um what like what i carry in my book bag so i've been really happy with my book bag and how i've set up my my reading bag here i'll show you right now what that looks like i've been really happy with um with how i've set it up and what i've got going on in here so i thought it would be cool to do a what's in my book bag video and share with you everything that i keep in my reading bag um because uh, and not only do I have books in here and it'll be kind of like a like a book check-in of like what I'm currently reading and what I've read in the last couple of weeks, but I thought it would be fun, especially for my planner people out there, to share with you like more of the paper crafting and planner type of things that I carry in my book bag because I do have a reading journal which I use like a happy planner planner as my reading journal so I thought it would be fun to just go through my book bag and just share with you everything that I carry in my book bag and just talk about everything that I've been reading so if that sounds interesting to you just keep on watching so to begin with I have like a medium-sized tote as my book bag and um, it's a the very hungry caterpillar book bag theme I got it from my local um, campus bookstore and on the back it has just some more drawings of um, from Eric Carl I just I adore the very hungry caterpillar it's so cute I love it so much but um here let me start with uh, sharing with you like the books that I'm carrying right now in my book bag and then we'll get into like more of the paper crafts and like the planner type stuff I carry so starting off with books I actually have how many books am I carrying in here I'm carrying six books right now in my reading bag and I like to hold on to a couple of books um, that I've already read. So I've already read four of these. Four of these I've already read. And then, oh, actually, no, no, no. I have seven books because I have one right here that I'm currently reading. So I have seven books that I carry in my book bag. Um, four I've already read. One I'm currently reading. I have my nightlight on it. And two I am going to read. So let's start off with the four that I have read and I'm just gonna really briefly talk about them. And the reason I carry books that I've already read in my book bag is that I usually have like some sort of plan for them after if I still am carrying them around in my book bag. So for example, I just finished filming a book look for this book, I Am Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter by Erica L. Sanchez. I've been holding on to this one because I have been wanting to do a book look based on this book. So I've just been holding it in my book bag. Um, and I don't carry all of the books that I finished in my book bag after I finish them. I only carry them if I have a specific plan for them in mind. And it's sort of like a reminder to me that I need to do this and then I can take it out of my book bag. I also have uh, Cesar Ayras, an episode in the life of a landscape painter. I read this a while back and I need to take a picture of this and then paste the picture into my reading journal because I like keeping, I'm doing like a tracker, like a book tracker, a reading tracker of all the books that I've read this year and I'm taking pictures of them and then pasting them into my reading journal and I need to do that for this one. so gotta do that. Um, Haruku Murakami is what I talk about when I talk about running. I actually just finished this up like two weeks ago as part of a book club I do with my sister and her wife and my boyfriend 
and I'm holding on to it because we still haven't had our little book club session and so I want to have it on hand when we have our little book club session and then Samira um, Habib's We Have Always Been Here, A Queer Muslim Memoir. I also read this as part of a book club uh, at my campus and I really enjoyed this one. I just finished this book and I also need to take a picture of it and put it into my reading journal. Also debating about whether I should do a book look on this one, so thinking about it. And then I'm currently reading this. This is the book of Ichigo, Ichigo Ichie, um, The Art of Making the Most of Every Moment, The Japanese Way by Hector Garcia and Francesc Morales. And I'm about mm, like 50 pages in, no 40, like 40 pages in. And uh, it was, this book like really appealed to me. I really like like all things Zen and mindfulness and meditation. And I particularly like things, all things Japanese. And so I saw this at Barnes and Nobles. It was, um, they were having like this crazy 50% off every book in the store because the, the, um, the store was going out of business. And so I picked up like tons of books and then this is one of the books I picked up and it's a fun little read. I've been enjoying like these shorter reads for the last couple of months and it's only about like 180 pages long. So I, I, I suspect that I will finish this soon. And then the two books that I haven't read but are in my book bag. I like having like a few books in my book bag that I haven't read at a time because they kind of motivate me to continue reading and just like get through whatever I'm currently reading so that I can move on to the new book because um, yeah sometimes I feel like when I'm in the middle of a book it's kind of hard especially if you're like super busy to keep up you know keep keep on reading and keep up with it but if I have a book that I'm really excited about um, just around the corner. I feel like it really helps me get through the book that I'm currently reading, particularly if the book I'm currently reading isn't my favorite. I'm the type of person who will like finish a book no matter what, even if I don't really like it because I'm a completionist. And so if I feel like I don't like the book, I'll still like make my way through it, but I might drag my feet a little bit. So it kind of helps to have you know, like books that you haven't read but want to read in your book bag to kind of motivate you. So one of these is The Medicine Bag by Don Jose Ruiz. And this is all about um, shamanic rituals and ceremonies for personal transformation. It's like a spiritual self-help book. And I've heard a lot of um, awesome things about this. I actually have my own medicine bag that I like to carry around with me, but I want to learn more about medicine bag magic and you know, like the history and meaning behind it. So I picked that one up at that same like 50% off the entire store, Barnes and Noble's sale. And then the last book I have is this guy. This is Naomi Klein's This Changes Everything, Capitalism vs. The Climate. This thing is chunky. It's chunky. It's like 500 pages and it's really dense. It's really technical. And so, yeah, but I have been wanting to read um, a book about climate change for a while now. And this one seemed really interesting to me. Uh, particularly because of like the um, the links between like our economic you know system and climate change so I thought this would, would this one would be perfect to start off with so I think I'm gonna read this one after I finish the medicine bag and the book of Ichigo Ichie so I have these two um, coming up and in addition to like reading in like reading the physical copies of books, I also have Audible and I listen to books while I'm driving or while I'm working out or while I'm doing chores. And currently I'm reading The Uninhibitable Earth by David Foster Wallace, I want to say. I'll pop a picture of it here. It is also a book on climate change. I've been really wanting to learn more about, you know, this uh, crisis that we are 
under and so I I um, I bought that one on audible so that's what I'm reading there okay moving on to the other things in my um, in my bag I have a reading journal this is a planner from the happy planner of course and this is my reading journal and basically for me my reading journal is a place where I can journal about everything it is I'm reading and reflect on things that I'm reading and I like to write down quotes that really resonate with me and also just have a space to think, reflect, and, you know, interpret whatever it is I'm reading. It helps me connect with the book more, and a lot of the times I feel like I'll read books, and then, like, years later, I'll completely forget what those books are about, and so it kind of helps me retain some of the more, like, larger concept, big picture type of things in books if I journal about them. So that was the inspiration for, you know, having a reading journal and the cover is the Welcome to the Book Club cover from the Happy Planner that they released um, last year and it was just so perfect. I had to have that as the cover and just like the first page is one of the dividers that I um, deconstructed and I glued some um, scrapbook paper on the back and I put some stickers on it. And the first couple of pages in my reading journal are dedicated to my reading challenge. So this is where I uh, take pictures of all the books that I've read um, in the year and then like get, rate them with these stickers and just have like a gallery of all the books I've read. And then I also have like a bunch of like reading stickers. This is a local bookstore um, sticker that I have here. But I only have six books here i i need to like um i need to put i need to update this i've read i think 14 books this year so far and so i definitely need to update it so i need to add a couple more pages scrapbook pages um and then add the photos of the books i have to print them out at cbs that's why it takes me a bit and then i have just like a little uh, sticky note clip in there and right now i am using the marabou designs horizontal planner for my reading journal and i actually here here are like a bunch of the dividers um beautiful artwork but i actually just cleared up like a bunch of the older pages in this reading journal because I didn't feel like holding on to them and also um, I'm playing around with this new format with my reading journal where I'm not going to keep up with the time because I feel like that puts a lot of pressure on me to like keep up with the time and yeah I just sometimes I just don't have the time during the week to journal about what I'm reading sometimes I don't even have time to read during the week much less journal about it so I want this to be a space where when I feel like it and I have the time and the energy, I can turn to it and journal. And so how I've decided to use this now is to kind of treat it as this undated planner and not pay attention to any of the dates on the pages, but only write in it when I feel like writing in it. And so that's how I'm going to be working with this planner. And I think how I'm going to set it up is like each weekly spread is going to be representative of one book so i set up this spread here uh, for me to journal about the book um what we talk about when we talk about or what i talk about when i talk about running by haruki murakami and uh so i set up the spread and i already finished that book so i need to go back in or when i feel like you know i want to go back in and journal about it i have the spread and i'll just like journal about the book on these two pages and then the next two pages will be the next book that i read if that makes sense so if i spend like three months reading a book these are the only two pages um that i will work on in those three months. Well, I might spill over to like four pages if it's, you know, a, a book that I really want to journal a lot about. But that way, like it, it helps me, you know, um, it helps me kind of like pace myself with, with uh, my reading journal and not feel overwhelmed with it. And my dashboard is this cute little bookmark with the pencils on it. And also tucked into my reading journal, I have, um, 
a little sticker protector or storage situation where I have a bunch of reading stickers from the bookish sticker book from the Happy Planner. So these are tucked into the reading journal as well and I just have this in my book bag ready for me to journal whenever I feel like it. And then in addition to that planner or that reading journal, I actually have two sticker books that I like carrying around in my reading journal because these are like bookish sticker books and they're perfect for journaling um, in my reading journal. So I have the classic bookish sticker book. So these are all really bright book related stickers. And then I have modern bookish, um, which this is for a big happy planner. But these stickers are gorgeous. They're all book themed. There's a lot of like coffee and tea happening. It just gives me like antique vintage library and I just love it so much. I love this. I love the sticker book. It's so gorgeous. And these are so much more neutral and soft and beautiful. I mean, I love the bright bookish, but this one is definitely a whole mood and not every book has this like bright in your face personality. So I have my two bookish sticker books. And the last thing that I have in here is my little like pencil bag, pencil case bag. Also matching with the Very Hungry Caterpillar. I got this from the same bookstore I got my tote from. But this little bag has like a bunch of little like things in it that I like to use for reading. So let me go through them with you. The first is this guy which um, was clipped to the book I'm currently reading. I like to read like at least 10 minutes before bed. Sometimes I just read like a few pages. Um, sometimes I just read one page before I go to bed, just in order for me to like keep with that habit of trying to read a little bit before bed. You know, sometimes I'll read like half an hour to an hour um, before I go to bed if I have the time. But I like to read in bed and I don't like getting up to turn up the, turn off the light. And so I have my little reading lamp here and it's I got this on Amazon and it's just like this nice amber light. It has three different brightness settings to it. It clips, it's um, USB chargeable and it lasts forever. And so this is definitely something I really like. Um, I, I like having and it, it's so it's so nice. I love having it in my reading bag. And, and then the next thing I have, um, or the, the next couple of things I have in my book bag are like a little stack of post-it notes. I have these like transparent stickers from the latest Wildflower Be Happy box. Those are really nice. I have some modern Mickey post-its, sticky notes. And how I use these, um, I like to use them to just like annotate uh, my books. I like, you know, because I like journaling about them, I like to kind of, um, make notes in the book about, you know, quotes I really like or just scenes that really struck me or if there's anything in the book that I want to like think about later or talk about later or journal about later, I'll just stick down a sticky note and um, just like make a note of it that way because a lot of the times, you know, I'm reading in bed but I'm not necessarily like journaling in bed as well. like. Usually they're two separate things. Sometimes I will like be reading and have my journal out in front of me and then journal as I go. But mostly I am just reading or I'm just journaling, if that makes sense. And then the last thing I have here are three little uh, page flags, which my mom got me for my birthday. So we have that. And then I have a pen, just this plain old blue, pen that I keep in there just to write. And the last thing in my little pencil case is this super cute stamp. This is a stamp I got in a Japanese bookstore. It says reading book list on the side here. And then this book has date on it. So you can write the date on that spine. And this last book, it says title and you can write the title of the book that you're reading there. <coughs> and these stamps are really interesting. They're like um, a self-contained stamp. So 
the stamp itself is actually like already ah, it's already like uh inked up so there's just the stamp just has this like um ink that doesn't dry and you could just stamp it you don't have to um you know put this into ink and then stamp it it just already comes with it's like never drying ink on it so these are really cool because it just like carries the ink you know inside of it and i just love using these in my reading journal whenever i start a new book i'll put the stamp down and then i'll write the title of the book on the book there and that's how i kind of like make a note of you know when i start a new book so i really like that stamp and that is everything that is in my Very Hungry Caterpillar book bag. This is a really good sized tote. It's not too big, not too small. And I think whenever I finish filling up my reading journal, um, this classic sized Welcome to the Book Club, I'm going to start with my big sized uh reading journal which i picked up the modern bookish teachers planner from the latest happy planner release and that thing is gorgeous all of the dividers are like book themed very very cute and i'm thinking that that's going to be my next reading journal once i finish um using up this guy here so i'm excited to get into that one all right everyone that was it that was everything that was in my book bag i hope you enjoyed uh touring my book bag with me and thank you so much for joining me for another video it means so much to me that you support and enjoy you know the content on my channel it definitely does mean the world to me so thank you so much Definitely let me know what you're reading in the comments down below or what you carry in your book bag. I would love to know. I hope you're doing wonderfully. I hope you're you're having a wonderful week. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're blessed. And I hope to see you in my next video. So I'll chat soon. Bye.